Hello again, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making um, eggplant parmesan. I'm sure there's a million eggplant parmesan recipes out there, but this is my own recipe. Nothing and like your mom's eggplant parmesan. Yeah, of course, and that's your favorite now. Yeah, this is the best recipe ever, guys. Yeah, so I am going to be using uh, four eggplants. I already peeled them. I like, I don't, I like to leave a little bit of peel on there. Some people don't peel the eggplant, but I like to peel mine. Anyway, so before I start, I want to uh, say that um, this recipe was also requested by my peers at work, uh, Sarah and Jeff. I'm going to make you a parmesan today, so hopefully um, one day I'll make it when we're all together and you guys get to taste it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my ingredients, uh, what my ingredients are today. Of course, we're going to start with eggplants. I'm doing four eggplants today. So it depends on how many people you're going to feed. You can make two eggplants if you want. You don't have to use four. But I'm using my big, um, this one, I think, I think like it's uh, 12 by 15. So it's a little bit bigger than the usual small tray. So I will need four eggplants. Um, I have about four eggs here, which I'm going to quickly beat. This was, I'm going to drench my eggplants in there. I will have a little bit of salt in there and a little bit of pepper. I also have a mix of uh, cheeses. Um, I have Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese in here and breadcrumbs that are plain. You can also buy the breadcrumbs that, are, um, that have seasoning. So mine are plain, but I'm gonna add my own seasoning because I have a little herb garden growing in my backyard and I love fresh herbs. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop some of my fresh herbs. I have oregano, I have thyme, and also a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of marjoram. Um, I love my fresh herbs. I use them all the time. So I'm gonna chop them up and put them in the, in the bread mixture so we can get that herb um, taste. And also ricotta cheese. This is about what, 15 ounce? Yeah, 15 ounce of ricotta cheese. You don't have to use this brand, but I like it. I like this one. I buy it at Sprouts. And also I have um, a cup of fresh mozzarella. Also, some people don't, don't use fresh mozzarella, but I like to top my um, eggplant parmesan with fresh mozzarella that I kind of diced. And garlic, diced garlic. Can you see the garlic? How many cloves did you use for the garlic? I use about uh, five, four or five. And I'm using a half onion. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of slice it up and dice it up real small for the sauce. This is what I need for the sauce. And also for the sauce, um, I'm using this sauce. Um, you don't have to use this sauce. You can use your favorite sauce, spaghetti sauce. I sometimes I make my own sauce, but today I'm gonna use jar sauce. But I add up, I add, I add garlic and onion. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with my sauce. I don't just use straight up sauce. I kind of dress it up with herbs and garlic and onion and all that stuff. But I'll show you in a minute. So let's get started with the eggplants first, and then we'll go to the sauce next. Uh, I have very sensitive eyes. Every time I cut onion, I cry really bad. That doesn't change. I cut onion all my life. I still cry every time I cut onion. <laughs> I put it in the fridge, I put it in the freezer, I put it in water, it still makes me cry. It doesn't matter what I do. So, um, okay, so I'm gonna cut the eggplant now. Is that okay? <laughs> so about what, one inch? I can't see with my eyes, I'm still watering. So strong. Oregano went wild. I love the smell of oregano. Oh my god. 
This reminds me of my mom. God bless her soul. She loved oregano. She put oregano in everything. Rosemary. Don't put too much rosemary. If you do use fresh herbs, just a little bit because it's very strong. Um, you can get the seasoned version of all these things. Yeah, just use dried herbs or just get the breadcrumbs that has already seasoned. There's seasoned breadcrumbs. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it. I put it in my sauce and I also put it in the breadcrumbs. Board is sliding. Oh my god, it smells like heaven. Mm. Love it. Okay, I think that's enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some in the breadcrumbs. This will be for the sauce. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start breading our eggplants now. And then uh, a lot of people like to fry the eggplants. I don't fry my eggplants. It just, I feel like they soak up a lot of oil or butter um, or whatever, or whichever way you wanna fry them with butter or oil. I just kinda put them in a baking tray. I'm gonna drizzle it with olive oil. And I bake them. And halfway through baking, I bake them about 15 minutes. I flip them over. And I broil them a little bit just to kind of give them a little brown um, color. So this way we can save a little bit extra fat. And this dish has a lot of cheese, so I didn't want to fry my eggplant. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here to the side and then I'm going to start breading my eggplant. So I didn't, uh, I forgot to say that we, we can salt the eggplant ahead of time. When you salt the eggplant ahead of time, it kind of draws all the water out of the eggplant and you can put them on a strainer or you can lay them on a paper towel just to get all that water out of it. But I didn't do that today because my Nana's hungry and we gotta get on this. This is gonna be dinner tonight. So everything's salted pretty well. So let's start with the trenching. Until they brown a little bit on the bottom and top I'm gonna you know lift them up rotate the trays on the top and bottom shelf but I'm gonna go ahead and start on the sauce while that's cooking so we're gonna start with the onions I, I put about four tablespoon of olive oil in here extra virgin olive oil and then I'm gonna put my onion let's get this going here let's get this This 
is the half onion diced. And as soon as the onions start getting soft, I'm gonna add my garlic. I don't wanna add my garlic too early because it will burn. And once the onion uh, garlic burns, it turns bitter. We don't want that. So let's just get this going here until they get a little soft and then we'll add the garlic. need to cook this too much just you know slightly light golden color I'm also gonna add my herbs I love the smell of the herbs oh my god this is gonna be heavenly just like one more minute I'm gonna add the sauce in here Adding two of these sauce, um, 24 ounce jars. Can I see one of the jars? They don't have to be this this brand. It could be anything. Also, just a little hot water in here, just to kind of get every little little bit of the sauce. I don't want to waste that good sauce and I recommend everyone gets one of these hot water jug um, it's so handy when you're cooking and doing whatever you need hot water just turn it on it takes two minutes to get boiling water I love it so there we go I don't waste anything okay this is gonna come to a boil. Let me just add some salt and pepper here. So when you're browning the onions, is it on low heat, high heat? Oh, just medium heat. It doesn't have to be too high. You don't want it to be too high. They burn really quickly. Just a little bit of black pepper. So slow and steady wins the race. Not uh, slow, but I mean medium to high. Okay. And then what about now? I'm gonna put it on high so I can get it going and then you can turn it down, cover it and let it simmer while the eggplant is cooking. This doesn't need to, oops, I just made a little mess here. Uh, they don't need to cook very long, they're just gonna boil for five minutes because they're gonna cook in the oven with the eggplant. I just want them to, I'm gonna taste the salt here really quickly. Well, I already started, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, the eggplants are ready. I just took them out of the oven. They're nice and golden. As you can see, it's better than frying. It saves a little bit of extra fat here. It just kind of grilled. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Um, I have my tray over here. And so we, and the sauce has been cooking for maybe like 20, 30 minutes since we put those in the oven. So it's ready. This is just a little salad I was putting together. I'm gonna put it right here. Let me go ahead and... Tomatoes that I got from the garden today. We'll have 
We have six tomatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six that came from the bar. <laughs> Look, see my first tomatoes. I'm excited about these tomatoes. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna put our parmesan together. Are we ready, Natalia? I'm still recording. Oh, you're recording? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we're back. I'm gonna put this together real quick. This sauce smells so good. Oh my God, mm, yum. I can't wait to eat this, I'm so hungry. I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce on the bottom. I don't know why I need this knife, but I don't need it. All right. I'm gonna keep my oven on at 450. I just wanna show you how this eggplant brown really beautifully on both sides. So you don't really need to fry it. You can just bake it with a little bit of olive oil drizzled on the bottom. Perfect. Yum. <laughs> I could just eat it. Oh, it's so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a one layer of eggplant on the bottom. Just whichever way I feel like I'm gonna put it. No special pattern. Oh, it's nice and soft too. Okay. <clears throat> just about the whole bottom of the tray. And now I do have my blend of cheese of Parmesan and mozzarella. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of cheese on here, just like that. A little bit of sauce. This is a big tray, you know? We should have used a smaller tray so we have more layers of eggplant. We're just gonna have only two layers of eggplant. I don't know why I make, I'm making this big tray. So now I'm gonna put some um, ricotta cheese in here. Just gonna, just a little bit of ricotta everywhere. Another spoon. This is really good when it melts between the eggplant layers. You know what I forgot to uh, bring from my yard? Basil, fresh basil. I knew I was forgetting something. So, we start with the second tray and just go in between the other layers, I guess, just everywhere you go. We might be able to get three layers, I don't know. Let's see, maybe two and a half. I think we're gonna get three layers in here. That's wonderful. I'm surprised. This big tray. Oh, cheese. Hmm. Yeah. It's gonna be so cheesy. More ricotta. I should get another spoon, but it's okay. I'll just keep washing my hands. Are you excited, Mommy? Mm -hmm. I haven't made this for a while, huh? right? Mm -hmm. Okay, one more layer. Here we go. Last, last one. Just fill in here. In the gaps. One right here. Maybe one right here. Like 
happy, but it's pretty good. That's good. I like it. More cheese. Oh my god, this is gonna be so easy. Yummy. So cheesy. I think I'm gonna use all the cheese. delicious fresh mozzarella cheese you know I think I'm gonna go to the yard and get some basil and put some basil on top too I cannot have fresh basil on this I'm just gonna get I don't know if we can use the whole cup but just it depends how much cheese you like you can put more or less you know I love cheese so I think I'm gonna use all of it Looks yummy or what? Mm -hmm. So delicious. Goodness. Here goes the diet. Tomorrow I ride my bike a little more. Extra 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my hand. I'm gonna get more basil. I'm gonna chop up some fresh basil, put it on top, and it's gonna go in the oven for about um, 30 minutes. Once it bubbles and you know everything kind of gets cooked together, and beat about 30 35 minutes. We'll be ready to eat. I have to go to my garden. I have basil right here. So I love using basil. I have it outside too, but this is good. I don't need a lot, just two. I'll wash them really quick. I got this plant that came handy. There's my basil. I'm just gonna chop it you know, just like that. Just to give it an extra basil taste. I love the smell of basil. That's amazing. All right. That's it. to the oven now and we'll be back okay lasagna is ready it's just came out of the oven it's piping hot it smells delicious you mean eggplant parmesan yes what did i say you said lasagna uh, you must uh, erase that and start over again <laughs> <laughs> myself laugh because I'm just getting old and I'm forgetful so this is eggplant parmesan it's not lasagna I said lasagna but it's not so uh, here we go Jeff and Sarah sorry you're not here to try this delicious eggplant parm but um, again hopefully I will see you in the office soon and we can make it together or I'll make it and bring it to the office but you guys thanks for your request I enjoyed making this, so now we're gonna eat. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. I know you can't wait to get into this, right? Mm -hmm. I see that. I can see your face. You wanna try? You want the first piece? Okay, be careful, it's very hot. Yum. I think I'm gonna have a big piece too. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yummy. I mean, um, it's really hot. We should wait, but we just have to try and see. I can't wait.
It's definitely hot. Mm. Wow. Oh my That's God. really great. Mm. Mm. Yum. It's so good. I'm gonna burn my mouth. Mm. Mm. Absolutely delicious. I surprise myself every time. <laughs> it's delicious. What can I say? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.